So it is cut and sand day. That means I have got a bunch of new wood and I need to cut it all and sand it all. And I try to do this all together. So when I get I accumulate inventory of wood canvases, kind of save it up until I can spend a day cutting it all and sanding it because it's it's kind of pain in the ass to be honest with you. So I don't I really hate doing it. This is like the the part of wood burning that I like the least is prepping the wood, but it has to be done. So I kind of save it all up and do it all in one day. So right here I've got some poplar wood planks. These are half inch and they are five and a half inches wide and I cut these into squares to use it in my tiles. Um, I actually had a stack of these for a long time that didn't get used and they came up with that tile idea and it worked out so well I decided to cut some more. I also have some ambrosia maple that I got from KJP Select Hardwoods. They have really beautiful uh, maple wood planks that I use a lot for burning. It's nice and soft. Uh, the grains are really consistently soft so there's not like a hard spot and a soft spot. And they have really cool grains too. Like you can see here these like the, these darker veins running through. It's really nice. So I'm going to um, cut one plank in half and then I'm going to cut one plank into thirds. That just gives me a variety of canvases. I don't, I don't really have anything planned for these yet. But I like to just kind of cut different sizes and then when I get ready to do a piece, you know, pick something that fits. So I'm just going to pop my goggles on to get started and uh, Pippa is going to join me for a second. So I do this outside um, and I don't have a table or anything fancy so I just clamp it to the saw horse here and I use my circular saw. We used to have a miter saw that we sold so now I'm down to using the circular saw which is not great because it doesn't come out as straight as I would like but I'm pretty decent at cutting a straight line and then I can kind of correct it with sanding. Once I get through cutting all of these, it's time to break out the sander and start sanding these. And this is the bit that takes forever. Uh, cutting takes, you know, like 10-15 minutes, depending on how much wood I have, and the sanding takes forever. Okay, now I'm ready to sand. I've got my 220 grit sandpaper, my orbital sander. It's time to start sanding. And I forgot to put my, my little pad down. I try to put this on here so that it doesn't, you know, the sawhorse doesn't tear up the other side of the wood. Plus it helps it from like skidding all around. I, still, I mean, I still have to hold it, but at least with this, I can kind of, it can kind of help me grip a little bit. So when I'm sanding these live edge pieces, I really try to make sure that I'm getting off any bits that might be, you know, splintery looking. You don't want to, you don't want people to like run their hands over it and catch a splinter. So um, even on these, you know, poplar wood pieces that don't have the live edge, I, because I cut them with the circular saw, there's going to be some splintering on the edges. So I try to round every edge, every side, as well as sanding the surface where I'm going to be burning. Now, I don't sand nearly as much as some people do. I mean, some burners will sand for like 30 minutes to an hour for one canvas. And that's totally fine if that's how you want to sand. But I don't have the patience for that, especially the amount of canvases I've cut and sand at one time. So I have a tendency to 
you know, sand a piece like 10 minutes at a time, especially um, since my line art doesn't, it, I don't like shade details. So I find that the deep texture doesn't require as smooth a surface as if I was like shading a realistic image. Once I'm done cutting, I just kind of stack everything up and then I bring it into the shop I have a couple of shelves and I just stack them up here neatly until I'm ready to use them for a project and they're all ready to go so cuts down on my prep and sand time when I'm ready to start working on something all right thank you guys for joining me on cut and sand day I appreciate you watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you want weekly pyro content